Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Matt Cleverton, the director of instruction at the world-renowned Kingston Heath Golf Club. Matt's also the Victorian PGA Teacher of the Year and will be based at the Kingston Heath Golf Club in Melbourne, Australia, where he's going to teach us the best clubs to use when playing our pitch shots so that we can master our distance control. And if you haven't watched video one or two in this Pitching Mastery series, you can watch them here and here. And before we start this video, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around till the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out the best clubs for us to use so that we can master our distance control with our pitching. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Here we're going to look at turn as opposed to tilt and how that's impacting on the consistency and quality of your strike. From the setup that we looked at in the first video with the cross on the ground, the perpendicular line in front of the golf ball, we're going to look at how the body influences that strike. So as I come into impact, a lot of players will try to tilt the body as opposed to rotate. Now when we tilt the body, the sternum is getting a long way back in behind the golf ball and that's generally where we're going to strike the ground, creating fat and often thin shots as well. From the setup, we talked a lot about the perpendicular line and the sternum being over that and here we want to make sure we're rotating forward around that. That's really going to help the momentum of the shot and also the quality of strike as we're moving forward, not in behind it. Let's give it a go. So I take my same setup that I did earlier, sternum on the line, grip on the line, and then from there, so work on how the body turns as opposed to tilt, and that'll help you get a more consistent strike when you're working on your pitching. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful. Or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University skill assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment, or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also want to personally invite you to join our 19th Hole Clubhouse and Golf Channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet, and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th Hole for free at the 19thhole.club, or click the link in the description below. As a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like myself, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another episode, then leave a like, and a comment below, and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too, so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.